Welcome, welcome, welcome. You are in the right place at the right time. Today is Sunday. And I just wanted to jump on and uh, give you guys a happy Sunday shout out and to invite you guys out to the show uh, on Tuesday, this Tuesday at 5 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. Uh, we're going to have a great show as always. Uh, I tell you, I'm excited about each and every show because, you know, if you're noticing Studio A is getting better and better. We're doing some more production things and we're getting better and better at what we're doing here. So uh, I look forward to bringing you a, a outstanding presentation as we go forward. Um, let me give a couple of shout outs here. I got a shout out to all of our healthcare heroes. You know, uh, this pandemic thing is still uh, blowing up out of control. And I want to encourage people to be safe and be cautious uh, as you roam around to the different places that you go to. Please wear a mask. Please wash your hands. Please be careful when you come in contact with people so that you do not have a situation where you catch this Delta variant, as they're calling it, and um, having a breakthrough contamination that can cause you to lose your life. So I encourage people to, you know, be safe and pray for our healthcare heroes because our healthcare heroes are still on the front line, keeping us alive and well. So please, please do your part. Stay safe. Do your part. Stay safe. Okay. I can't say it enough. Okay. Uh, also, by today being Sunday, I want to give a shout out to all of our spiritual leaders and heroes that are on the front line uh, praying for us and doing their part to keep us informed on what's going on across the hemisphere and across the world and across the land. Uh, I tell you, we need a spiritual leader to inform us on what's going on in this day and time. And a special shout out to my spiritual leader, uh, Dr. Lord Michael Hunt. Uh, I tell you, I've been with him for over 30 years now, and he has been, uh, you know, educating and informing me uh, which way to go and how to stay informed on what's going on in the world. So special shout out to uh, Dr. Lloyd Michael Hunt on today. I uh, also want to encourage people to go over to my website, uh, ask-dr-ron.com. And when you get over there, uh, check out all of the people that I have on my uh, channel. I've got Street News Now channel. I've got a playlist devoted to Dr. Hunt archives and some of the, the, the performances that he have had and messages that he have had from the past 30 years ago. Uh, check it out. See what's going on with that. I believe you will enjoy it and be well informed uh, with some of the messages that he have. You can also find some of our Ask Dr. Ron archive stuff there. So check it out. That's ask-dr-ron.com. Go over there, browse around, um, like and share, join, become a friend um, to the show, and you will get information, you know, uh, that will let you know what we got going on and when we got it going on. Uh, also, you can um, check out our advertisers. Please check out our advertisers. They make it possible for us to do what we do here. So definitely support our advertisers. All right. So um, at the beginning of the year, uh, we decided that we were going to do a Black History Moment uh, on Sundays when we invite you out to be with us on Tuesday. So we want to keep that tradition alive. And uh, I've got a few people I want to talk about today that I want to share with you. So here we go. Black History Moment. Uh, first of all, I want to shout out some birthdays. Um, one of my brothers and colleagues that was just on the show last week has a birthday on tomorrow, Professor Reggie Miles. 
And he is a legend uh, in the Chicagoland area of music. So if you're not familiar with Professor Reggie Miles, go look him up. He has several internet platforms, which you saw on last week, where you can go and listen to his music. Uh, he does a lecture on the history of uh, stepping music in, in, and where it started from in the Chicagoland area. So I encourage you to go look up Professor Reggie Miles and understand what his role was in playing with made um, stepping music part of the Chicago legacy. Okay, he's a legend and he has uh, helped put his legacy, his mark on that industry. Uh, he was just on the show on last week. Uh, also on this week, uh, celebrating Michael Jackson's birthday. Uh, they've been playing Michael Jackson music uh, all over the city. They had a special trip uh, tribute on yesterday in Gary in front of the house that they grew up in. So that's something that you can check out. Uh, I'm sure it's all over social media. Uh, also wanted to give a uh, special shout out to Chadwick Bozeman. Chadwick Bozeman was the young man that played uh, Black Panther in the uh, superhero series. So, um, you know, special shout out to him on this week because he had a birthday and this is the anniversary of him passing. But uh, I have someone in particular that I really want to emphasize on today. I uh, ran across this article and I thought it was so, so fitting that I've talked about this. Um, you know, I don't know if many of you have heard of Josephine Baker. Josephine Baker, um, you know, I'm just going to read the article. You know, after double life as a World War II spy, Josephine Baker, now first black woman to get this rare hero's burial in France. Now, Josephine Baker was, was an activist and an entertainer. Uh, the remains of the singer, dancer, civil rights activist Josephine Baker will be reinterred at the Pantheon Monument in Paris, making her the first black woman to be interned there. Interment in the Pantheon, Pantheon is reserved for national figures of historical importance in France. The Paris Monument at the moment houses the remains of French philosopher Voltaire uh, and Victor Hugo, scientist Marie Carey, French politician and Simone Veil and others. Baker, who became the first became a French citizen in 1937 and before her death in Paris in 1975 will be the first entertainer to be given the Pantheon burial, according to the AP. The French president is the only one to decide who gets moved to the Paris monument. Beggar's remains, which are buried in Monaco, are, are getting transferred to the Pantheon following a petition signed by writer uh, Laurent Kumper, Kupperman. The petition to have her interment in the Pantheon caught the attention of the French president, Emmanuel Marcon. Marcon. Uh, she was an, an artist, the first international star, a muse of the Cubists, a resistance fighting during World War II in the French army, active alongside Martin Luther King in the civil rights, the petition said. The, new, the news about Baker's remains being transferred was first reported by the La, oh boy, they got all these French names that I don't know how to say, uh, Persian newspaper. It said Sunday that Macron, Macron decided to organize the ceremony on November the 30th at the Paris Monument. This is a great lady. 
who love France, who will enter the Pantheon. Thank you to Emmanuel Macron for his tribute. French minister, uh, okay, we're gonna skip that part. Who was Josephine Baker? She was a world-renowned singer, dancer, civil rights activist. Baker's popularity rose during the 1920s for dancing in Paris, born on June 3rd, 1906 in St. Louis, Missouri. Baker grew up in an acute, acute poverty at a time when the so-called Jim Crow laws enforced uh, racial segregation in the American South. At the age of eight, her mother pulled her out of school to work as a domestic servant, cleaning houses and babysitting for rich white families. She also started dancing on the streets in St. Louis to make some money. When she was 13, she got a job as a waitress at the old chauffeur's club where she met the man and met and married Willie Wells two years later. At the time, she began performing with an uh, African American theater group, which she performed so well as a dancer in many vaudeville shows, a popular theater genre in the 20th century. From performing in New York City, her achievements eventually took her to Paris where she instantly became a celebrity, celebrity, highly sought after due to her distinct dancing style and unique costumes. Baker also helped the French resistance during World War II against Nazi Germany. She did this by passing on secrets she heard while performing in front of the enemy. She wrote down confidential information and with invisible ink, on music sheets and transported them to France. When World War II ended, Baker was awarded the Cru du Le Grau by the French military and was named a Chevalier of the, the Legion of Honor. These were France's highest military honors. During the 1950s, Baker returned to the United States and joined the first all-Black Broadway musical. In spite of her success, Becker faced racial abuse from the press. She subsequently refused to perform at segregated clubs and concert venues, uh, arguing that if African Americans could not attend her shows, she would not perform. Her strong opposition to segregation and discrimination was recognized by the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Baker went on to fight racial injustice into the 70s. Throughout her career, she adopted 13 children from various countries and called her family the Rainbow Tribe. She took their children along with her for shows to show the world that racial and cultural harmony was possible. In 1975, Baker performed on stage uh, for, the, for the last time and received a standing ovation on April 12, 1975. Becker died of a cere cerebral hemorrhage. Over 20,000 people came to the streets in Paris for her funeral procession. The French government honored her with a 21 gun salute. So that's the story about uh, Miss Josephine Baker. Uh, that is our black history moment for this Sunday. Um, man, when I ran across that, I know they had made a movie about Miss Josephine Baker back in the day. And I believe if you Google it, you probably still can find that movie. It tells a very telling tale of this woman of courageousness and her part that she played in uh, helping defeat the enemy in uh, World War II. 
So uh, that is our Black History moment for today. Uh, I want to encourage you all to come out on Tuesday, this Tuesday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys then. I'm, we're going to have a great show. We got a book author scheduled to come on uh, of children's books. So I'm looking forward to talking to her about her creativity and what led her to put these books together and put them out there for our youth. So uh, that is all we have for today. Uh, let me drop this little slide in on you. If you would like to make contributions and donations, this is our information to do so. Please support what we are doing here. Uh, we need your support. Um, anybody that makes contributions, I'm going to call your name out on the air and let people know that you have been supporting behind the scenes what goes on here at the Ask Dr. Ron Show. Don't forget to go over to the website, ask-dr-ron.com. Support our advertisers, support our sponsors. And if you'd like to become one, please reach out to me. We would love to have you on our website. So that's our show for today. We look forward to seeing you guys on Tuesday. You stay blessed and stay safe.